What's up guys, this is Quante, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles! Okay, so this game actually has a save feature! Way to step up your game, Sega! So, you can actually pick from a number of characters in this game, such as Sonic and Tails, Knuckles, or even Tails by himself, and, you know, Sonic by himself. I'm gonna do the typical Sonic and Tails, and if you actually play as Knuckles, he actually has, I wouldn't say a different storyline, because this game really isn't that story-driven at all, but, I mean, there are some differences in Knuckles' game, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be playing as him. But let's go ahead and start. Done enough talking already. And so, ooh, here goes Sonic, and oh god, he's going suicidal. Oh wait, oh, he's just Super Saiyan now. Okay, I can understand that. And oh god, who the heck is this? Oh, he stole all the Chaos Emeralds. So yeah, I didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 2, but if you didn't know this, and I don't know why you wouldn't, when Sonic gets all seven of the Chaos Emeralds, he actually goes Super Sonic, which is basically like a Super Saiyan version of Sonic or whatever. But speaking of Super Saiyan Sonics, here goes the first special stage of this, you know, this entire game. This is the Blue Sphere minigame, and the Blue Sphere minigame is actually really, really nauseating and... I don't really like it that much, but the whole objective of Blue Sphere is, well, to collect every Blue Sphere. And the catch to it, which really isn't blatantly obvious, is that if you see a bunch of Blue Spheres in a giant square-like formation, all you really have to do is get the outer edges like what I'm doing now, and all the ones on the inside will actually turn into rings. And if you get 50 rings in the special stage, in any special stage that is, you automatically get a continue. So if you know where a lot of the special stages are, and you're not really good at getting Chaos Emeralds, you can just come here to basically grind for continues. And, well, there's really no need for continues in this game anyway, mainly because they incorporated the save feature, so it's just like, what do you need the continues for? You have a save feature already unlocked. I mean, come on now, Sega. I don't really know. <laughs> and I failed at that. I was hoping I could at least get one Chaos Emerald for this LP, but apparently not. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really terrible at, you know, just the special stages in Sonic games. They just always get to me for some reason. And it's really worth it getting the Chaos Emeralds in this game, too, because this game has the first instance of you actually getting able to, I mean, being able to unlock a secret boss by getting all the Chaos Emeralds. And by um, this game combining Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, there are actually 16 Emeralds instead of 8. So that's a lot of emerald collecting that you're doing if you combine both games, so just be prepared for that, but the special rings aren't that really that hard to find at all, so, you know, good good ring hunting, I guess I could say. But yeah, the scenery has actually changed, how about that crap? <laughs> so, this sort of happens like, I wouldn't say all the time in each of the zones, this is probably going to be the only major change in the atmosphere that you actually see in this game, sadly, but typically this zone only has, um, not this zone, each um, zone only has about two acts, just like Sonic 2, only each of the acts is actually a, a little bit longer in my personal opinion, and it's not just one of those um, Sonic games where it's just like, you get to the goal ring, and then sort of just like, go to the next level. You defeat a mini-boss in every zone, and then that's sort of how you go to the next level. So right now, I just completed Act 1, and I'm going to Act 2, but there's not going to be a big old, like, TRANSITION NEXT LEVEL! It's just going to be like, Act 2, and then you keep going from exactly where you are. So that's actually kind of cool. You know, I like that sort of feature, I guess you could say. But gosh, <laughs> not at all that explaining is out of the way. Let's, let's do this this special stage. Let's see if I can actually get a Chaos Emerald. And I really just don't like Blue Sphere. <laughs> I'm gonna say that now. I mean, a lot of people think Blue Sphere is sort of, I guess, the easiest special stage in most Sonic games. I don't really like Blue Sphere. Not the slightest idea why. I don't know. You can actually really get lost really easily in these special stages, and I guess that's one of the reasons why I hate them so much. It's just like, you can get lost, especially in this one. I get lost in this one quite a bit, and sometimes I just rage quit and touch a red sphere, because red spheres automatically eject you from the stage. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just how I am. I mean, 
my bad gameplay skills have prevented me from beating this game all the way for years and years now. And see, I'm already lost. I'm running into rings that have already spawned and everything. I'm just so terrible at the special station in Sonic. I don't know. But I've never really played it for, you know, the 100% aspect. I just play it just to have fun. Even though I really want to complete a, um, a Sonic game, because I've never gotten all the Chaos Emeralds in, I don't think, any Sonic game except for Sonic 4 Episode 2. And I got 6 Chaos Emeralds in that one. Same thing with Episode 1. I got 6 Chaos Emeralds in that one, too. But we get this Emerald. And I don't think it's the first, either. Which kind of sucks. Because I think if you go in a separate special stage, like I think if you fail one, it automatically um, puts you in the second special stage. So I don't really think you even have a chance to get like that specific emerald if you fail on Cricket. Whatever that emerald may be. Which kind of sucks. I'm not really too sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But that's just from my personal experience or what I... From my observations, I guess you could say. That I've kind of noticed that. But I could be wrong. You know, kind of, don't quote me on that. I'm not the, the Sonic expert, you know. You could go watch The Great Clement or something and maybe he'll say something about it in his Sonic 3 LP. But this is Quante 95, dang it. And I've never added... This is like one of the first times I've added 95 in my name for a long time. Oh well. So, I really like how when... The zones change, like when you switch from each zone to zone, like Act 1 and Act 2. Wow, I can't get the whole zone and act thing right before the crap. But the music actually changes slightly, and I like the remix to um, Angel Island zone that's playing right now. Well, I guess it's not a remix, but you know, it's different from what we heard the first time, dang it. Okay. In Angel Island zone, basically, it's supposed to be a floating island in the sky, actually. But as you can see, we rode on up on it like <laughs> when it was basically in the water. And basically, the story of this game is Eggman stole the Master Emerald, and I guess the Master Emerald somehow makes the island fly. And so when Eggman stole it, it just like collapsed into the ocean. And then I guess he made um. Knuckles believed that Sonic was behind it all, so now Knuckles is going to be causing us all this trouble throughout the entire game. Because he's just gullible like that, you know, Knuckles is a complete idiot, you know, that's just how Knuckles rolls. And looking at the time now, I think we're actually going to be doing just one zone per video, because I'm already at seven minutes, and I can just imagine how long these videos will be if I go like a whole two zones an episode. I don't really we'll have to see. But from the looks of it right now, I might just be doing one zone per episode. Or else these things will just get too long and people will lose people will lose attention span. People will lose interest. And oh god, yeah, that that happens. That sort of thing happens. Yeah. I don't know why I just died. Like I died to some of the easiest bosses in Sonic games and I don't know why. Just like the chemical plant boss in Sonic 2, you know, I died to it so many times and I have no idea why. And then when you die to that boss, you have to do this all over again. And there's virtually no way to get hit by this at all. As long as you keep on holding the right button, you're not gonna get hit by any of these. At all. Except for poor Tails, he's getting murdered back there. Yeah, just gotta get hit by that last one, don't you, Tails? And well... <laughs> Let's actually beat this boss this time! You can see him riding back throughout the trees. Okay. Actually, funny thing is, I used to think Tails was actually running on his tippy toes when I was a kid. Because Tails, the way he runs, or sort of gets around, is that he uses his tails to propel him forward. And I used to think he was, like, running on his tippy toes the entire time. I don't know why. And that was a completely random thing, and I'm sorry for all of the exclamations in this episode, but, you know, that's the way first parts work. So in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, we will be doing Hydro City Zone. Knuckles, you fool!